Hi, I'm Dario Minetti I'm from New Jersey, and uh, this is my Red Keep from Game of Thrones. I started this project in about 2018, and it took me about three years to complete. A lot of that time was spent designing and building and acquiring more parts, so it was a long process through those three years. It is roughly uh, 100,000 pieces, and in order to move it, it breaks down to about 60 modules. So for example, this tall tower in the back here is four sections stacked on top of each other. And a lot of the outer wall is smaller pieces. For example, this tower is a separate piece from the different wall sections. So it's about 60 pieces altogether. So um, do you have to have a special car to transport this or do you just do it on your own? I do. I have my own trailer. So at the end of the show, it gets boxed up and and put in my trailer until it sits till the next show. Okay. So you obviously don't have enough space in your own house. To I play. do not have enough space in my own house to so set it up. So you don't know what it's going to look like until you get it all. Well, it is modular, so I could build. Yeah, you know, I could work on a piece and make sure that it fit with the piece to the left and right of it. But every once in a while, I did have to move some furniture in my house and set the whole thing up and make sure it was fitting together as a whole. So what are some of the special details that you would like to showcase? Well, one of my favorite pieces is this middle building here. It's the first one I made, and they show it pretty prominently in the show. So I wanted to make sure I got that right so that the build was recognizable. And also these two tall towers in the back here, they also show that quite a bit in the show. So I wanted to make sure I got that right. So those are, those are my two favorite details from, from the whole build. So what's... Uh... Obviously, Game of Thrones is the main reference, but yes. do you use any other reference materials? Or? No, I actually I went through the entire series and just took screenshots anytime they showed the keep. So I was able to kind of piece it together from all those different screenshots. Since it's not a real castle, they don't always show it from every angle, and they did change it over the years a little bit. So I did the best I could to try to stay true to the overall look and aesthetic of it. Yeah. Um, so is Game of Thrones a particular favorite series of yours? Yes, I love. I read. I read all the books. Well, the books that he wrote. I read them all so far, and uh, I love the series. And I'm a little behind on the new series, but I'm going to catch up. Yes. Um, so your first, you said the first thing was the middle part there. Yes. Um, what was the well, second thing? You well, I should say initially I did some work in studio to plan the overall size and footprint of the build, where the walls were going to be, where the towers were going to be, how they're how they were angled. So I, I should say that was the first thing I did. Um, and also this tall building I kind of sketched out in studio to see how many how many bricks high it would be just you know what would make sense with the other buildings what made sense there so uh, after that after I built that middle piece I started with these these two buildings those are kind of two separate buildings in the build so I started with those because I knew they'd be right next to it and I had to figure out the angles between those two buildings and the building in front that would connect them so that was actually quite a struggle for me. So yeah. <laughs> that gave me a bit of trouble to figure that out. So is it all connected uh, with Technic pins, or how do you connect it's all really the not, It's really sturdy. It's really not connected. The buildings are just kind of sit, since they are at a weird angle, they just kind of sit on tiles. You can see here, I have tiles kind of outlining where the building sits. So they're just, they're not connected at all, really. So they're just freestanding there. They are freestanding. And the, the tall towers and... This middle piece is actually two pieces also, but they're just kind of sitting on each other and just gravity does most of the work there. Are there any special scenes that you really wanted to like um, showcase in this month? I didn't do any particular scenes from the show. Um, I know they do make custom minifigs, some other companies do, but they're kind of expensive, so I haven't, I haven't spent the money on getting any of those custom minifigs yet. I, I did put a minifigure in the tower with the gold roof there kind of stand in for Tommen when, when he jumps. <laughs> but I don't think that's where he jumped from. But <laughs> um, Is there anything else you'd like to shout out here? Uh, let's see. Anything on the other side? Let's look. <laughs> the big struggle that I had was this front level is lower than the rest of it. So I do have like a, a sheer wood base starting about here so I had to figure out how to bridge that gap so I don't know if you can see from here so I built up some walls here to build that gap there's raised platforms in here to hold up these towers and the wall kind of hides the difference in heights there 
and then I had to slope those sidewalls to kind of bridge that gap between the two levels also. Yeah, so I, I need to kind of redesign this so it's a little lower so people can see it better. Yeah, even us tall people can not see it <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I have trouble too, so. Yeah. <laughs> Is it tipping over or anything if you don't have any structural? Well, I did build my own custom table to hold this, so I don't know if you want to you want to see, so it does have, there are six by six legs there, and I have my own platform there, so. So this isn't your average brick fair table. Right? It's not, because they're, a lot of the tables they give you at shows are never even, so I wanted this to be a nice, flat, even surface that was strong enough to hold this. Yeah. We estimate it weighs about 350 pounds, so I wanted a nice, strong table to hold it up. Because God forbid it tip over. <laughs> Is there any plans to expand it any further or do different scenes? Or you? No, I'm pretty much done with this. Uh, I've moved on to other things. I built this over the last six months. It's my little go-kart track that is not working at the moment. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much done here. Thank you for your time and uh, amazing mock and can't wait to see what you come up with next. Great. Thank you guys.